Yes, I'm very fond of it. It has a certain kind of serenity. When I meditate there, it feels like my power is concentrated. Wow. Let's take five. All those rocks will murder on my feet. We can rest once we reach the village. No, I don't want to wait. Relax. Niakara isn't going anywhere. I wouldn't... Right? I wouldn't say that, Alvin. I really wouldn't say that. Hey, I won't argue with that. Thanks, Alvin. You're a pretty considerate guy, aren't you? Only on every other Tuesday. I do have to admit you had me worried, kid. Trying to act all tough like that. Oh, yeah. Is it really that obvious? Anyway, I really am fine. And I found that I'm pretty good at pushing all the complicated stuff out of my brain. Is that right? Who are you? Her name is... Is she the one who caught your eye? Hey, I was trying to... Okay, fine, I won't introduce you then. How about that? But she's my employer. Right? Interrupting me like that. Then stay back. Unless you want me to kill your golden goose. Thinking? Alvin, look. Up there. That rock to the right. Can you hit it? Take a look. It could be the key to saving Mila. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're just gonna watch her die then? With friends like that. Oh no, you were kind of molesting her in the uh, in her playthrough. No, there's no Japanese voice track for, uh, for Exilia. No, I do not need to explain. I, well, wait, do I need, no, I'm pretty sure I got it. That works too. I didn't think that was possible. We should practice chaining our attacks for the future. Wow, that, I don't even know what to say about that fight. So you spotted that monster camouflage as a boulder? Good eyes, kid. Did you ever consider what would have happened if the creature charged at you instead of that woman? It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alvin still would have gotten into that woman's blind spot. You thought of all the angles that quickly? <laughs> what are you, a tactical genius? Genius is a good word. Not many people can think that fast. Unless you're Rowan. Hey, it was nothing. Stop being OP. I'm sorry I'm so OP. Later on in the game, I won't be so OP anymore. In fact, later on in the game, I'll probably die a bajillion times. Knowing my luck with this game. Hey, where'd that woman go? Hold your horses, Mr. Honor Student. We're not going to get anywhere if we spend all day worrying about the bad guys. Oh god, once I get the Muse, I'm going to so die. That's quite the spectacle. What do you say? Up for a quick dip? If you're intent on that, I won't try to stop you. But I can see monsters waiting under the water. A monster that size. Well, that was something. I've never seen such a large monster before. Monsters who experience a mutation in their mana lobes can expand to massive sizes. You read that in a book? Yep. <laughs> Not much gets a rise out of you, does it? <laughs> no fun at all. You didn't seem particularly surprised yourself. Well, that wasn't anything I haven't seen before. You've traveled around the world and seen all sorts of... Uh, go for it, I dare you. If only. I've actually tried seeing if I could go in the water and the game's like, nope. You're not allowed to. Uh, like, uh oh, hmm. Lucky me. 
All right, come on. There we go. Fossilized shell. Kill the monsters. Kill the monsters. I'm going to kill all the monsters. All right. You have big hands. Interesting. That that's what she said. Actually, that is what she said. I can't even use the joke. You, I'm gonna kill you now, monster, because I can't use that joke from earlier. All right. Wild grass seeds. I want to get into my encounter links again. I'm gonna see those so much. All right. Nice job. Over already. Unless I accidentally equipped Alvin with it. Did I equip? No, that's not under that. It's under skills. Nope. It's not equipped. So I don't know then. Huh. Okay, whatever game. Out of our way. All right. Over already? It is a little unfair that my character's like, what level? Yeah, my character's a level 48 and have their ultimate weapons equipped. Due to New Game Plus standards. Yay for ultimate weapons! Just not Final Fantasy's ultimate weapon. That that thing's scary. Any idea who that woman was? No clue. Although she did seem to know me. I imagine you mercenaries make a lot of enemies in your line of work. Although I, I could give you a hint, she's married to Roy Mustang. For the bad girl type kid, or maybe you just like older women. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> that that look on Jude's face. The look on his face. I was playing uh, quite a bit of Final Fantasy XIV, at least the demo, when um, when I was in the beta for the PS3 version, and I had a lot of fun with that game. No, 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 let's just get rid of it. Make a count. There we go. Nia Kara. We've arrived. I like the cloud like designed on their uh buildings. So this the little, the little like swirly cloud thing. I thought it would be fancier. Excuse me, where's Ivor? Hmm? He went off to find Lord Maxwell and... Lord Maxwell? Yes, I have returned. Everyone's so excited, like, oh my god, it's Lord Maxwell! I, I can't believe you deign to speak to me. I am unworthy. I guess she's the real deal. She's something, all right. Not everyone gets to road trip with a major deity. I had my doubts. I think many, many people who would travel with me though will have their doubts. No need for formalities. You say Ivor isn't here? Yes, but he should have returned by now. We're worried about him. I see. It's Ivor. He did have a short temper. Please, return to your work. I need to perform the ritual to resummon the four at my shrine. There's Alvin. I was like, where the hell did he go? My handmaid is away. Would you mind lending a hand? What? You mean we can help you? 
I'm not exactly a religious scholar. It's nothing difficult. The village has four altars, each with a temporal stone. So you want us to bring those to the shrine you mentioned? Precisely. No, it doesn't sound hard. Why not just ask the villagers for help? They're not worthy of her. Oh. Except for my handmaid. I don't really fraternize with the villagers. Because they're not worthy of her love. The conversation. Ah, the trials of godhood. Well, I guess a little physical labor won't kill us. Right, kid? We can handle it. Don't worry, Jude. I'll explain your predicament to the villagers after the ceremony. Please be patient for just a little longer. Uh, sure. Okay, let's get hunting for those temporal stones. You said they were in the village? Yes. Gather the stones and bring them to the shrine. It lies beyond the village. Yay! I can move again, okay. That mountain beyond the village sure is something. That's the Neokara Hollow Mount. It's a special land. Yep, don't care. Already heard it a bajillion times. Here we go. This but yeah, um, I I've like I've been tempted to uh play some Final Fantasy 14, but because right now I have to save like every cent I have towards Kimura Con. I gotta make sure that I can't go on, uh, I can't do what I want yet with, the uh, 14. Well, hopefully in the future. I want to talk to her, not the Temporal Stone. Oh no! I can't believe I'm out offerings to leave at the shrine! Could I ask you to help me find some more? They could be difficult to find. Okay. I need an insect husk to leave as an offering. It symbolizes the transition between life and death. Please, try to bring the rarest and best shaped one you can find. Okay. Oh, shiny. And get this kid. He's going to want something. Oh, hey. You know what? I ate an apple the other day. It was so good. I really want you to have one too, Lord Maxwell. If only someone could get one for me. Okay. Hmm. You want us to find an apple and bring it to you so he can give it right back to me? Doesn't seem very efficient. But my mom won't let me go outside the village. And there aren't any apples here. Oh, come on, Mila. Let's just find an apple for him. Here, take your damn apple. Yay, you brought one to brought me an apple! Thanks, Lloyd Maxwell. These are so good, he won't even believe it. It does look quite appetizing. They're really good. Really, truly. Incredibly good. So good. Mila? Hmm? Yes, you're right. Here, I want you to have this. B but I got it for you! And I'm sure it tastes wonderful, but it's okay. Thanks, Lord Maxwell! Here, you can have this instead. And I got... A drippy nose. Welcome home, Lord Maxwell. I'm glad to see you're all well. All thanks to you, Lord Maxwell. Wow. So people really do worship Mila. It's pretty rare to find Maxwell worshippers these days, but apparently they used to be quite common. Faith in the spirit seems to have fallen dramatically all over the world. Although I couldn't tell that from here. The more spirit arts progress, the more spirits are seen as simply another facet of nature. So they used to be a bigger deal back then? Yeah. Legends say that it was the spirit Maxwell who created Riza Maxia to begin with. Yep, it was a long time ago, and the galaxy far, far away. Correct, and the people of this village are Kresnik's descendants. <laughs> yeah, you get crazy origin stories like that in all these rustic towns. How dare you! Twenty years ago, I personally witnessed the advent of Lord Maxwell and the four great spirits. I saw her grow into the woman you see before you, without ever taking a bite of food or a wink of sleep. This miracle is proof that our legends were true. 
Want to tell this geezer about the time Mila collapsed from hunger? Just leave him alone. Come to think of it, the six ruling houses of Rashagal are all a part of that legend too. Their founders were supposed to be the six disciples of Maxwell and Kresnik, right? Now that is the truly absurd origin story. Those fools have no clue about the true secrets of this world. Oh, really? I should never have said that. Please, forgive me. What just happened? Nothing. Don't worry. Stare about down of death. Okay. Can I upgrade with a level 3 anything? No, everything is level 2, so I'm not going to deal with it for now. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, God. Uh, no. Oops. Okay. So, nothing to add on to Jude. Mila's hometown. The sticks, huh? How about we just call it simple? This is your hometown, Mila? It's so normal. Isn't it nice? It's so quiet here. Yeah, it sure is. Pretty weak, huh? I was expecting something freaky. Hey, come on. Did you say something? Oh, I was just wondering if your parents were around. Spirits don't have parents. And how were you born? I took this form 20 years ago. I appeared along with the four in the village shrine. Why? Huh. Interesting. Questions about me. Just trying to keep Jude entertained. He was complaining about how boring the village was. Jude, do you crave chaos that much? What? I, I didn't say anything like that. Oh. Alvin throwing Jude under the bus. Okay, that's lodgings. Okay, temporal stones. Little girl. Okay. Let's see, I believe I grabbed all four. So I grabbed the one over there. Grabbed that one. I grabbed. I want to double check one last time. Okay, I grabbed that one. Aha, so I did miss one. Almost miss one, I should say. There we go. Got all four. There we go. All four temporal stones. I appreciate your efforts. Let's bring them to the shrine beyond the village. Sounds like a plan. So, all the arts that channel the four great spirits don't work anymore? Yeah, not since the silencing 20 years ago. The power of the four disappeared overnight, causing a worldwide panic. And when did Mila take human form again? 20 years ago. Wait, are the two related? Yes, that was me. I reserved the four for my personal use. Seriously? I have no reason to deceive you. Of course, even I can't summon them now. So you'll have to take my word for it. You had to steal the four great spares, didn't you? Didn't you? You should be ashamed. No, not that way. These are such weird buildings. The villagers channel a combination of earth and wind spirits when constructing them. Hence a wind-like pattern on them. Ooh. Ever since Lord Maxwell left on her journey, the path to her shrine has become infested with monsters. The villagers alone can no longer contain them. Will you help us? Yes. The monsters appear in her flock in the northeast region of Neokira Spirit Way. Thank you for doing this. Eh, no problem. So we get to do a little bit of mo little monster extermination on the way. Which, if you think about it, we were going to kind of kill everything in our path anyways. Kind of what we do. It's kind of our thing. Alright! 210 experience. Now, I'm... The only reason why I'm even getting like 210 and stuff like that is because of the additional experience points I get. Can I now do an encounter link, please? No, I can't. Why? Why, game? All right. Got 
Alrighty, well that was easy. Of course all these monsters are going to be easy for at least, I want to say half of the game they might be pretty easy, but then all of a sudden it's just going to get really hard because life, life just hates me. Ah, gotcha. We'll try to be merciful. Alright. Now my goal is actually to be able to do uh, Mystic Arts by the time I get to uh, Noctical, King Noctical later on in the game. If I can actually get my Mystic Arts back in order, should make the fight slightly easier. Keyword is only slightly easier. Because the moment he pulls his off, it's just pure chaos. And it's like, nope, I'm gonna kill you all with, the, with my attack. Die. I'm like, shit. Ooh, 590. That's not bad experience right there, considering these are just normal monsters. Okay, jet black feathers. The more I get, the better. Die, 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 butterflies. Oh, here they are. You guys should have stayed home. Really? Okay, I'll I'll take the first hit then, or you know, Over already? since they're not moving. Six hundred ten. That's not bad, actually. Wild bird eggs. Get this thing done. Kill it. Kill it good and die. Yay! Alright. What else? Oh, butterfly! Come, 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 my lady, you're my butterfly, sugar baby. That's a song I bet nobody's heard in a long time. Or, actually, some of you watching this may never have heard that song, period. I feel old now. 